this lesson, we're going to add a call to action. Now, call to actions are very, very important to have on your site because it lets people know where to click, where to go, what you want them to do. So click on uh, the call to action here. You can put in your title as my call to action here. And you can change the font size. So let's set this one at one. You can change the color. You can set the margin, uh, the subtitle. And then you can put in whatever text that you want to put in here. And then you have to subtitle text. The color for that. Oh, there's the font size. 24. And then the background color, if you want to add a background color for that. So we're going to add something. And then the text color. And as you can see right now, it gives you so much flexibility for the pattern. Uh, you can add the pattern for this, but I'm just going to leave it at that for the button text. Click here now. And then this is the button link. Where do you want people to go once to click on that link? And then it's the button size. Let's make this a little bit of standard. And then for the default, let's leave it at success. The button icon, I'm just going to choose something at random. And do you want this to be full width? No. Uh, button position. You can choose the button position can only be on the on the bottom or the right. So it can't be on the left. So let's take a look at the right first. Click on save. Preview and then front end editor. So this is what it looks like. Now you see the contrast and colors here. This is harsh, but I just wanted you to see. So let's change this here. So let's say I want the title color to just be uh, white. Change that to white. And then let's click on apply. Or let's change let's change it from the bottom position to I'm sorry from the right position to the bottom position. Click on apply. So now you have this here, uh, beautiful call to action that you can incorporate uh, on your site. So she says very simple, very clean, and uh, you don't need all this additional text, but I just added those text there so you can see what it looks like. And if you wanted to make some more changes, the responsiveness of it, if you wanted to hide this on a certain device, or if you wanted to show this on uh, certain user groups, you can do that. Uh, for the radius, you can enable the the link color, the text color, and then where it says general gives you a lot more flexibility and control.